Now looking at this surface, I'm quite happy with how it's come up. Yes, there's some discoloration on the metal, that's okay. Um, as long as there's no lips or bumps um, or old gasket. Um, we've got these two back in place. Now I am just gonna turn the engine over just to move these pistons down a little bit. Just so when I put the cylinder head on, if the valves happen to be open and I don't have things lined up and I make a mistake, I don't want them to hit into the piston. So we'll do the timing later on, but for now, it'll be okay if those pistons are just sitting down a little bit. So we just need to spend a minute once we've got the new head gasket, just to make sure that we have it orientated correctly. So we've got those two dowels that it sits on. We can see that they sit in here and here. So we sit it on there. The way that sits, I'm happy. I can see here that this is the oil feed and the oil feed here, I'm happy with that. These cooling spaces all line up nicely. The problem with these gaskets is you can fit them this way and they're not marked. Now, we've still got this here, but again, you're not gonna get any oil supply because it's gonna be sealed off. So, and you can kind of tell around here that something's a bit off. So just make sure that you have it orientated correctly. You can't go this way, because you just go, oh, something's obviously wrong. So just spend a moment to make sure that you've got it sitting in the correct spot and the gasket's sitting there nice and flat. Now, as I said before, I've left the pistons all down a little bit, just while I'm setting the cams up. At this point, I don't want them in the wrong spot and bumping into pistons. Now we don't want any sealant on this. At the moment it's sitting up on those dowel pins and we just want to be very careful while we maneuver it into place. So I'm actually kind of lifting this end up and just trying to find those locating dowels. Seems to be sitting right just there. So just make sure it's perfectly seated on the block. So you have to use new bolts when you do this. Um, they have a very light amount of oil just from their packaging, um, so they don't rust up in transit. Um, I'm happy with that amount of oil for the threads. I don't need to oil the threads up. I will put a bit of oil under the washers once I've got them all in place. I just want to put a little bit of oil just on the uh, washer here and on this so as it tightens up there's no binding up on that washer. And I'm just going to zip these up, zip these in just loosely. Okay, so we're gonna to want to write a little cheat sheet up here for the tightening sequence of the bolts. So it goes one, two, and we're spiraling around. So we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna start with a torque of 25 Newton meters, which is 18 pound feet. Then we're going to do plus 90 degrees, plus another 90 degrees, plus another 90 degrees, plus 45 degrees. So I like to have this here. I'm going to keep this as I go so I can kind of just keep track of where I'm at. So I'll do a full pass and then cross that section off, do the next full pass, cross it off. Um, it's really important not to be interrupted while you're doing this um, because particularly once you're in these sections, if you don't know which bolt you've done, um, it's a really difficult thing. So, so the first section we're doing is 25 Newton meters. Now 
Now I've done one pass at 25. I'm going to just do another pass just to make sure that they're all still at that torque. So now that first pass is done, I'm just going to take that out of there because I know that I've done that. There's also now no need for the torque wrench because we're just doing angles. So I'm just going to use a breaker bar just to make it easy for myself. Now you can use a angle gauge like this, um, but because they're nice amounts like 90 degrees and 45 degrees, and I've got plenty of room here, I feel quite confident that I can just do it in one movement and also I'm quite able just to visualize the 90 degrees. So I'm just noticing as I put this first one in, 90 degrees is just slightly off sort of from being 90 degrees here. So we're gonna take it to just a fraction past this direction here. In case you're wondering, I've actually supported the bonnet um, just with a cord and it takes the bonnet stay out of the way, which makes it a whole lot easier to do this. This time it's sort of locked in a little bit before, so we'll come back to about there. So that's our first pass at 90 done. Okay, time to do the second pass again. Just line up your 90 degrees or use a special tool. That's the second lot of 90 we've done. Now going for the third round. Okay, so that's the third pass of the 90. So we're now onto the last pass. This time it's only 45 degrees. So if we look at this, there's 90, 45 is out through here. So there's my 90s we're looking to here. And the last one. Let's just mark that off in a sense of satisfaction. So that is now the bolts all torqued down in the correct sequence.